Hey everyone, it is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to properly install Google Tag Manager on WordPress. I see just a ton of terrible advice in this space and I'm going to talk about them after I show you how to install it so that way those of you who are curious you can just watch us and move on. Um, the easiest way to do this is honestly to just grab a plugin that allows you to insert code and even though you might be wondering, oh, another plugin that's going to slow down my site. That's really incorrect. That's not the correct thinking that you should have. And it's because a lot of people in the space just give a lot of half baked advice on the field of, oh, I'm an expert. But really, it's not the quantity of plugins, it's the quality of plugins. I've seen a single site brought down to a crawl by Sycarn Optimizer. So for this video, I'm going to just show you insert headers and footers. If you have Perf Matters, which is an awesome plugin, and I did cover it, I'll put the eye thingy up here. Long story short, though, it basically it just allows you to insert any kind of code on the front end of your website, like Google Tag Manager. It's ideally meant for scripts because it's not it's not really ideal to use HTML in here if you're trying to display an element. So the first thing you can do is you want to you want to add the script to the header as you're told, and then add this script to the opening body tag. And that's it. That's all you need to do and the code will render just fine. Now, for those of you who are curious though, we're gonna talk about why you did it this way. So the fundamental issue with the half-baked advice you see going around is, oh, you just open up your appearance, you go to your theme editor and you paste the code in. I actually have the theme editor and plugin editor turned off on my staging sites just for the security bonus. But the point still stands. You shouldn't be editing your code, your, your themes, to add your analytics scripts because that does two things. Number one, it prevents you from updating your, your, your theme. If your theme gets an update and you update it, unless it's a child theme, you're then going to lose the analytics code. And that's not really good for anybody. You also get the disadvantage of, even if it's a child theme, of you now having to version your themes. Because sometimes parent themes do update header.php. They do it for a variety of reasons. Most of the time it's to give some flexibility with the customizing of the header, but I tend to avoid adding code directly into theme files as much as uh, possible. I prefer relying on actions and filters, so that way they can be easily modified. Insert headers and footers is a great plugin. Um, Perf Matters, I use it on my other sites, and that's what I use because it's the exact same three boxes, it's just in their interface. And the benefit of this in addition to just not having to worry about modifying your PHP code, which I see people break all the time, you get the benefit of any being, anybody being able to edit this and they can add to it. Um, let's say you hired a marketer and your marketer added a bunch of tracking scripts and you fire them because, well, they weren't doing anything for you. Well, you can modify and remove them if they're in this section, in this plugin. But if you allow them to add it to your header and, and your header.php file and your theme files, you're now dependent on either removing it yourself if you know it's there, or you need to hire somebody to remove it, which is just a silly thing to do because this plugin doesn't really impact your performance. The impact that this plugin would have in your real world performance is utterly minimal because it uses default WordPress functions. It just gives you a wrapper to easily add it. This is a situation when I do just recommend installing a plugin to go ahead and add your tracking scripts. Uh, certain themes though do have this integration built in. Um, Avada Genesis has it for the header and footer but not the body. Um, Divi as well under the integration tab and a couple of other services. But really, I just can't stress this enough and I see a ton of YouTube videos on this. Don't add the code to header.php. You're just creating a ton of headache from a maintainability standpoint for absolutely no benefit other than to say, I didn't install insert headers and footers. You see people install this and they're like, well, another plugin that may slow down my website, but they don't think twice about adding like six tracking scripts and a chat widget. And those honestly will have more of a performance impact than this plugin ever would. If you want to discuss this, um, please feel free to ask in the comments below, um, but it's kind of an open and shut case really. Um, make sure to like and subscribe Otherwise, I thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.